Hello everyone, my name is Chiwan Ndubisi. I'm a software instructor speaking to you live from United Kingdom. Yeah, this evening I'm going to give you a very lovely hymn song. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so that whenever I get my new video, you will enjoy them. Come on, sing along with me. Thank you. The wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace in the mansion bright and blouse. to heaven what a day of rejoicing that we be when we all see Jesus we sing a shout victory we walk the green pathways plowing over spread a scar but when trouble there's our own not our shout when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that we be. When we all see Jesus, we see a sharp victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trust in serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory without toys and repeat when we all get to heaven what's a day blessing that we be when we all see Jesus we sing and shout victory turn up to the front before all so this beauty will be whole so the pagans will open fish and treasures stream of gold when we all get to heaven for the day rejoicing that we be when we all see Jesus we sing a shout Yeah, I'm going to end it. But before I go, my lovely brother and sister, you have heard this song that said, when we all get to heaven, what a joy and rejoicing that is going to be. Heaven is a very, <coughs> it's a very lovely place that you and I have to be. It's a very lovely place. It's a place whereby there is no sorrow, there is no gnashing of teeth, there is no uh, puzzling of what you want to what to eat, how to survive in life. Everything is there. Everything is sufficient for you and I. So my brother, my dear sister, now that we are on this earth, are you obeying Christ? Because it pays to serve God. For you to be in that place, it's not it's easy but it's not easy it is easy but it is not easy if you are prepared for it and you hunger for it you walk towards righteousness you walk towards loving your fellow human being caring for your fellow human being caring for one another that is when it will be easy for you to be there because if you don't forgive your brother and your sister anyone who wrong you you don't forgive my dear sister if you have a bitter heart i don't know you're not going to i don't think it's christ you're going to meet there yes if you're a minister you're a pastor you're a preacher whatever you are that is not what i will take you to heaven how do you practice the word of christ the word of god you study 
do you practice it do you practice it you have to show love to humanity you have to show love to people people who come to you people who are in need the poor the good samaritan when he was passing by when he saw that man that was laying there he did not start you know preaching to that man or you know he took that man to the hospital he showed him love yes he showed him love the people who call themselves ministers they were passing by they went to church when you see christ jesus christ was lying down there and you pass him by you say you are going to church i don't know what you are going to church to pray who you are going to pray whereas the jesus christ is on the floor there so my dear my dear brother my dear sister christianity is not by going to church from monday to sunday some people when they give their tithe they say ah ah i've I have done work. I have, I have obeyed the voice of Christ. You are giving your money to somebody who is using your money to live expensive life. Whereas you, if you go to hospital, you will see the souls there. They are lying down there. When you go to prison, you will see them there. They need you. These are the people that Christ asked us to go and visit and spread the gospel. Not every day you are seated in one place in air condition. Air condition is touching you everything you're enjoying the air condition and everything and people are devil devil is busy outside the world winning so for himself my dear brother my dear sister it is time for you to go into the world go to the prisoners the prison they are there they need you and i my brother you can go there and spread the good news you can go there and preach the gospel you can go there and show them love buy one or two things you can buy boxer you can buy anything you can buy food you can buy the, anything at all take the gospel of christ to them they need you go to hospital you see people who need your hands in hospital bills they are there they need you go to an uh, orphanage home they are there so not by locking yourself in that one particular place, hearing the same preaching every day and night. Some of them, they are not even interested on your soul. What they are interested is in your money, the money you bring to them. They don't want to tell you the real gospel of Christ. They don't want to tell you the truth because they love those things you are bringing to them. My brother, my dear sister, it is time you read your Bible. It is time you study your Bible. Get married to your Bible. Study your Bible and obey the word of God. And obey the word of Christ. And stay away from sin. Stay away from sin. That is why you find some people, they pray from morning to night. Prayers are not answered. Some of them, they live with sin. They live with secret sin. Why some people, they, are, they have a bitter heart. A very, very bitter heart. When somebody does something wrong to them, they will never forgive. They will put it in their mind. Yes, yes years to come so it is time my dear if your life you still live in this kind of life you don't have the heart of forgiveness look at our lord jesus christ at the point of his where he was crucified he forgave somebody who was a thief that was behind him he forgave the people that crucify him he said my lord my god forgive them for they don't know what they do what they are doing but look at we on this earth we human beings we Peter will say we love Christ we love our we love Jesus Christ we love Jesus Christ but the human being that Jesus Christ that you're not seeing you are saying that you love him but the human being that you're seeing physically you don't love them you don't love them you don't have a heart of forgiveness some people they are so selfish if they are okay they are fine they don't care about anyone they don't care about anybody some people they are stingy they are very very stingy to give they find it difficult but if it's to build a house they they say they build a house for god How, what kind of house do you think that you can build for god that can contain him my dear sister, my dear brother, let us stand up and go out and preach the gospel and we sow for God and show love to people. They are hungry. They are hunger everywhere in Africa. They are hunger everywhere. They need you. They need you. People need you. People out there need you. The poor need you. The poor need you. Rise up and stop keeping yourself in that particular place, hearing the same thing every day, hearing the same preaching every day. They are some of them are after your money. Some of them if they can if I'm not against any church, but if they can use whatever they get from people to care for people, to care for humanity, I'm not against them. But those ones that doesn't care, 
when you need they don't care when they need they come to you but when you need they will tell you to pray to god for god to bless you my dear sister my dear brother it is time for you to go out there show love to one or two people to the needy to the poor show love to them no matter how small it is god bless you with those things that you have so that you can extend your hands to others so that you can extend your hands to the poor no stop being selfish and uh, stop being stingy i'm going to end my message here this evening i remain your humble lady i love you so much I love you for you to make heaven. I love you for you to stay away from sin. Stay away from sin. Sin kills. Stay away from sin and always stay healthy. Always stay clean and always make yourself happy. Just like as I do. Yes, I end my video here tonight. I'll see you in my next video. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.